Um, yeah, so these gaming stocks have surged since the second quarter, um, completely recovering from any pressure that we saw in March around Fortnite. Um, since April 1st, the start of the second quarter, Activision Blizzard up 19%, Ubisoft up over 50%. And remember, co these, these companies like Activision, um, like EA, they reported very strong first quarter results. So the view is, is that Fortnite can peacefully coexist alongside these other publishers. It's not cannibalizing their businesses. In fact, it's expanding the market. Fortnite could become more of a spoiler this holiday. Um, but remember, as, as Julia had mentioned. How does it expand the market? Is it, is it a, a different kind of gamer than who plays on EA or Activision game? I mean, if I had told you, you know, that there is a competing streaming service out there that is going get, get gangbusters in terms of movies and it's not having any impact on Netflix, you'd say that makes no sense whatsoever. And yet this is sort of the same phenomenon that we're seeing with these gaming stocks. Um, yeah, well, look, we've ushered in tens of millions of new players um, into competitive multiplayer gaming, a lot of younger gamers, a lot of female gamers, and, um, and then maybe a lot of lapsed gamers. So you have little brothers, little sisters, um, you have people that maybe haven't played in a while. But really what it's doing is Fortnite success underscores the popularity of video game content. It underscores how all of this is becoming mainstream. And I think it really looks like an opportunity. And as we saw in the first quarter, um, these games, they have distinct audiences. So just because someone's playing Fortnite doesn't mean that they're not um, playing something else but uh, so far results have, have all been good I get the point that you're making that the the market can grow in size we were showing viewers a, a, a graphic that we have on the wall there that says there was 574 million hours of gameplay watched in May on the right hand side of the screen there what is the total and how much bigger can that get in terms of the numbers of players that can join because the one thing is you can't put more hours in a day right I mean one gamer who's totally maxed out I mean, I guess this person could, like, not sleep, eat, or do anything. <laughs> but, you know, there's a, there's a certain uh, limit from what I remember from all my science fiction books. Yeah, right. Well, just remember, gaming is taking market share from every other, every other form of media. It's growing faster than movies, than TV. Um, it's taking market share away from all of them. So um, we continue to track larger audience sizes, expanded addressable markets. You have more people spending more time. And so I think um, one of the things that Fortnite has done uh, really well is it's, it's really deeply engaged users. So um, it's really captivated a large audience. The game will continue to be very strong through the end of the year. We have seen, um, I think Julia referenced, a slight dip in terms of June on Twitch. But over 600 million hours um, Tim, of Tim, Fortnite Luddite, streamed Luddite on Twitch question. alone in May. Luddite question. Are some people just watching it and not playing it? Um, look, there's always a chance. But, um, but this is the type Sounds of game like no. that just underscores... Okay. <laughs> there's a lot of passion for video games out there. People are playing and, and watching. Got it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.